I absolutely love cryptocurrency news and i perhaps came across the best article in the cryptocurrency space one right now that is going to show you you will be successful you are not only just going to be successful you're going to be filthy rich if you hang out in this cryptocurrency space just a little bit longer make it through all of the emotion make it through the fear make it through what everybody else is telling you to quit on I'm going to talk about why in a second here. And after you see it, it's going to make a whole lot of sense. And after I show it to you, you're going to need to take a look at a coin like Pepe Unchained. Guys, Pepe Unchained is building a layer 2 blockchain that if you just take a chance on it, oh my goodness. You're going to be able to see by the numbers that everybody is already getting very excited about this token. Let's talk about it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay, bro. And as you can see, we got Pepe Unchained on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, you got King Pepe over here, this big-brained dude. You're in a better position than he is. I'm going to talk about why. We're going to come back to him in a second. But uh, t check out Crypto News today, right? Go up to the top, Google Crypto News, and you can see crypto liquidations may be worse than the data is let on. All right, you're in a terrible position if you're a cryptocurrency investor. It's extremely unlikely that Wazer X customers are going to be made whole. Okay. Crypto groups are trying to influence the election by spending $120 million. Crypto is the new Trump family business. Stay out of it. Ethics watchdogs say that this is unethical. And they have their concerns. Bitcoin shop. See all the negativity that they're trying to put into your mind right now? But let me spin this next one. Crypto owners are more likely to have psychopathic traits, study says. Okay. You're a psychopath if you own cryptocurrency. Crypto owners are more likely to have psychopathic traits, study says. High levels of dark personality traits seen in crypto fans. Call us whatever you want. We are leading. One trader says, if you've ever suspe suspected that your crypto-obsessed friend might be a psychopath, you may be on to something. Digital asset holders tend to exhibit a higher level of dark personality traits, such as narciss narcissism, psychopathy, sad or sadism. And according to a recent academic paper by Who the Heck Cares? Okay, let me show you something else. Right? They think that labeling cryptocurrency investors as psychopaths is going to deter psychopaths from investing. <laughs> well, they're, they're absolutely wrong. Uh, it's going to stop you, right? If you're on the fence about crypto, it's going to stop you about it. Because if you call a psychopath a psychopath, well, let me tell you what. The psychopath doesn't care what you think about them. Look at this right here. Now, if you Google, are the world's richest people psychopaths? Psychologists have labeled the personalities of billionaires as a dark triad of, I don't even know what this word is, Mish, Mish, Machiavelli, who cares? You, you guys probably know what that is better than I do. Psychopathy and narcissism. But not all wealthy people are psychopaths, and there are many factors that can contribute to success. Studies have shown that wealthy people are more likely to exhibit behaviors such as self-promotion, emotional coldness, duplicity, and aggressiveness. Wait a second now. Wealthy people exhibit psychopathic tendencies. Wealthy people have this dark triad in the billionaire class. Millionaires are more likely to be psychopaths. So now all of a sudden, this stupid article from Bloomberg that tries to convince people that investing cryptocurrency is bad because it makes you a psychopath, well, you're more likely to be a millionaire. You're more likely to be wealthy. You are more likely to be successful if you have these tendencies. <laughs> now, knowing that, and knowing that you are here in the game to begin with, the only thing that you have to decide now, because of course you don't care what these people label you, is where you're going to put your money. Now, you should diversify, absolutely. You should have an array of safe, an array of risky assets, and so on. But Pepe Unchained is building something incredible. And it's already raised $11.5 million just in the first month and a half, two months here, of being live on the market. 
Now this pre-sale is ongoing, but so many people are pouring into it because of course it is being built for memes. Those psychopaths out there, the cryptocurrency investors out there. I mean, hey, it's synonymous, right? Psychopath, crypto enthusiast, synonymous now. They're pouring into Pepe Yunchain because they understand where the demand and where the money is going to flow when retail investors return. When this blue line spikes up, it's going to signify that retail interest in the crypto space is back. And retail investors are going to jump in to meme coins. Pepe, Shiba Inu coin, Dogecoin, Floki, Bonk, Whiff, you guys get the, the big names out there. But Pepe Unchained, a layer 2 blockchain being built specifically for meme coins, is going to see a huge influx of demand. That's why I'm excited about Pepe Unchained, and I am sure that is why $11.5 million is excited about Pepe Unchained right now. I simply want to know down in the comments below if you guys are excited about it. And hey, you know what? Maybe you're in the cryptocurrency space and you don't exhibit this dark triad of emotions and tendencies. Maybe you're not a psychopath and maybe you're really struggling with the emotions and the fear right now reading articles like that. Close your eyes. Push forward. Don't listen to what other people have to say about you. And you will be successful. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.